Hey folks, I'm back, and guess what? I have some news to share. First off, I have a new snazzy title, Lead Product Evangelist at DocuSign. I know, I'm excited too. And the second is, I was at TDX back in April, and I got to meet so many amazing trailblazers and get to talk to our community. And I am so excited to bring so much more content to you guys. With that, one of the conversations I had at TDX was, how do I install DocuSign into Salesforce and which app do I use? There's a few on there. So I figured I would, you know, take a moment, create a video and share with you guys how to do all of that. So with that, let's get going. So here I am in my brand new spun up just this morning, Salesforce org, it's a developer org. I'm going to go into home and quick find and type in app exchange, app exchange marketplace. I'm going to search for DocuSign. And here we have four apps to install into AppExchange. And I'm sure you're going, Lauren, why am I installing four? And it's a great question to ask. And myself and Kristen Jackson sat down a little while ago um, and discussed what the main package you should install is. I always tell everyone it's the one with the highest amount of reviews, so the 4,622. This is the all singing, all dancing one. Kristen Jackson actually broke it down in a video not too long ago, so I'll link that down below. But with that, you wanna click into that one. That one has DocGen, Negotiate, it has it all in there for you, so you're only installing one app, not three or four. So with that, you're gonna click Get It Now and you're gonna open up the login screen and you're gonna click install here. Agree to the terms and conditions and click confirm and install. Now the screen will pop up for you and I'm sure you're going, Lauren, should I be installing it for only admins, for all users, specific roles? I don't know who needs to have this just yet. I always advise install it for all users. The reason for that is, when you install it in, you don't have to do any background magic. And, and then with the DocuSign licensing and stuff like that, you get to control who has access to it. So there's a two-step access process in DocuSign. So install it for all users. It's safe. It's not going to pop up there and people are going to go, oh, I want to use it. You have to grant them access as well. So I always say install for all users. Yay! It was successful. It downloaded into my Salesforce org. So with that, I'm going to go and click the Apps Launcher and type in DocuSign Apps Launcher right here. So now that I have it installed into Salesforce, I now need to connect DocuSign into Salesforce, and that's okay, we can do that. I already have created a demo account, um, so I'm doing all this in a Salesforce developer account, and I'm gonna be using a DocuSign demo account. I'll link them all down below. The DocuSign demo account is completely free to sign up with, and I use it for proof of concept. So if I'm trying to do something really cool with DocuSign, I will use my demo account, obviously not a production account, because you know, we don't always test in production, but when we do, it's wrong. So I use that for testing and doing proof of concepts. Because I'm using a developer account and because I'm using a demo account in DocuSign, I have to click the advanced options. So if you're using a production, if you're, this is, you're trying to do it into production, you click log into DocuSign. But because I'm doing it in a demo, I'm going to click here and log into a demo account. Allow access. I'm going to just log in. So then I'm going to click next. And I'm going to allow access. And allow. So what I'm doing there is I'm giving access to Salesforce and Salesforce is giving access to DocuSign. So they're just connecting and talking to each other and saying, hey, you're cool. And yep, this is what we want. Now, as you can see, I am logged into DocuSign. I have my DocuSign set up. I have my gen templates. I have all my different tabs here and I have everything here. If I had DocuSign gen, I'd have that unlocked in the background. So that's where you talk to your AE and they'll flip that switch on for you. Same for collaboration or negotiation, they flip that on in the background. So the one app I installed, as you can see, I have DocGen, Negotiate, and then also here's the user management I was talking about earlier. So if I wanted to add more users to it, so at the moment I only have access, I could add more users this way by 
selecting either a profile or permission set. So it's kind of handy. You're going to have to do individual. If you have a big org, I've worked in orgs that have had 25,000 users of Salesforce, you can do by profile or by permission set. So it, it's a little bit easier for you instead of typing in 25,000 names because no one wants that. We will try and make things a little easy for you here at DocuSign. Okay, so I have that. I'm the administrator. I'm quite cool with that. So looks good to me. Um, so I'm going to actually create an envelope. So I'm going to go into DocuSign envelope templates now that I have it all installed. And I'm going to click a new one. Let's get going. You know, we've got it installed. Why not get going? So I'm going to call this one PO purchase order. And I'm going to put this one on the opportunity. Um, you know, I want to, uh, my sales team to be able to send out POs on the opportunity when they are ready to close a deal. So with that, here we are. I'm going to upload a document. So this, I'm just uploading a template I have already created. So I've created it in Word. So I'm going to just select upload. So I've uploaded my file. I'm quite happy with it. And I am going to click, I can't really see it, let's make it a little smaller. I'm gonna click next. From here, I'm gonna add recipients. So who do I want to get this? Um, so I'm gonna do like, um, I can add a role, I can add sender. I'm gonna go with related lists and contact and I'm going to click add so then here you can see all the, me the message so I'm creating a template so this is a standard that's basically put in in here you can you can customize it to anything in your org and um, I'm going to put please sign this PO. I'm going to keep it basic for now and looks good I'm going to click next Merge fields. If I wanted to pull in fields from the opportunity, I can. So right here, I've got fields. Select a field. I'm going to select account account name right here. So I'm going to put the account name there. Um, I'm going to put opportunity. I'm going to go with opportunity amount. And I'm going to click save. Okay, so I can continue on adding in fields. Um, if I've already have some set up, they will be there as well. One cool one I, I like to call out to anyone who is um, setting up a template is allow right back to Salesforce. So this is if you don't have a purchase order number, for example, you can send the purchase order request to your customer and they can fill out their purchase order number and it actually writes back and updates your Salesforce record. Super cool and really easy and it saves a little bit of hassle same with the required field so if you do require something signed or something filled out you can put the required there and they will not be able to sign the purchase order or any document without having filled out that required field for now because i'm just doing a quick demo i'm going to leave it as is so it looks good to me i'm going to click next and then i'm going to place those fields i just created here we are. So I've got the standard fields, the signature, initial, date, signed, name, email, company, all that stuff. I have all that here. That's the standard out in the box for, for DocuSign. But I also have merge fields, the fields I just created. So I'm going to put the account name here. And then I'm going to scroll down and put the opportunity amount right here, let's say. Terms of service. So I'm going to just put, put signature here. Um, the name can go right here and I have let's say the title goes here and then the date it was signed is uh, right there so these are all standard out of the box fields I just placed there and the merge fields I just created looks good to me so I'm going to click save and close Automatic reminders. So if you want someone to get a reminder every single day until they um, sign that document, you can put every day, every two days, three days. You have all control over this. So I'm going to put do not remind. Um, it's the default. And then it's going to expire after, let's say, 10 days. 
my sending experience, I'm going to click quick send. Reason for that is I want my salespeople to just click go. Just press a button and go. I don't want them to have to fill out more details. I just want them to quick and go. Um, and document right back. I'm going to put save certificate of completion. Um, and that's it. Looks good to me. And I'm going to click next. And one of the best things I love as a past admin in Salesforce, I used to hate writing JavaScript buttons um, or now lightning, lightning web component buttons. Um, so now we have done it all for you. We make it simple. So you write, name your button, what you want to call it, purchase order. So I'm going to put actually send purchase order. Um, which page layout do you want to put it on? I'm going to put it on all of them for now. Um, but it saves you having to go into setup and finding the opportunity and changing the page layouts. It's all here for you. You literally name your button and click which page layouts you want and then save and finish. It's that easy. You've integrated DocuSign into Salesforce and you've created your first template and your first button in Salesforce for DocuSign. Pretty cool, right? So let's go, let's go check it out. So I'm going to go in as a salesperson into the sales console. So I'm going to go into give you the full view, all opportunities. And I'm going to select, uh, let's go with this one that's qualified. And I want to see stages complete, seeing the details. I'm like, yeah, this looks all pretty cool to me. And there's the button that I had just created. So deal looks good to me. I'm going to click send PO. It's as you can see here, it says send with DocuSign. So it's pulling it all up. And because I'm an enabled user within the DocuSign, you're able to send it. So you have to make sure that anyone who has the ability or wants to send a purchase order. So your sales team, for example, you have them enabled in Salesforce. So now let's go play with that snazzy new button I just created, right? So I'm going to go into opportunities and one I've already recently viewed. So I'm like, yep, yeah, that looks good to me. All looks good. Oh, I don't have any contacts in here. So I'm going to add a new contact. And the young. So all looks good. So I'm going to go back into my opportunity. Looks great. Oh, look, there is the purchase order that I have. Just created that button. So I'm going to click that button. It's going to say, here it is, needs to sign the message to recipients. So this is a quick send. So this is the purchase order. Uh, please send this purchase order. This is what it is. More options. So anyone who is sending can change this these details. So I'm going to remind them every two days and the envelope expires. OK, and I'm going to click send. And there you go. So not only have I installed DocuSign into Salesforce, I have created an email template, I have created a button, and I have literally just put it into the opportunity object, and I've sent my very first um, envelope off for signing. All within, what, 10 minutes? Pretty cool, right? I like to think so. So now that you've seen how easy it is to integrate DocuSign into Salesforce, create an envelope template, and actually send an envelope from Salesforce, get going. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, please do post them below. I'll post a whole lot of helpful links and tips and tricks in the description as well. And until next time, I'll see you later.